What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today we're going to take a look at this little puppy right here. It is the Envy Pro 6455, all in a multifunction printer. Uh, brand new printer system that just came out by HP. They announced it today, along a full series of different Envy printers. And we're going to talk about this one specifically. And it's all on today on Geek Tech Talk Live with Jeffrey Powers. And that's, that's me. That's me. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine Think Magazine. Put in a geek and you got me. Today we're taking a look at the... Uh, a HP printer just came out. Uh, we got briefed on it. It's a, it's an amazing little printer, and it runs off of the HP print software, which I have on my phone. I'll show you how to set it all up. We're going to unbox it and see what's going on in here, and then, uh, well, of course, we'll, we'll set it all up. So, so today, this is what we're unboxing. This is the HP uh, NV Pro uh, printer here. Let's uh, pull up the page here. The 6455 mile model, it's wireless, it's an all-in-one printer. It does mobile print scan, auto copy, document feeder, and much more. It set it up on the HP Smart app, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's self-healing, dual-band Wi-Fi, 35-sheet auto document feeder. So if you've got bigger documents that you, know, you want to scan in, you have the document feeder to do that. Flatbed scanner. Uh, they have what's called smart contextual UI buttons that light up. Uh, they have the mobile fax, uh, which is part of that smart app. We talked about that before in the last, when they released it the last time. And the 100 sheet input tray. Let's take a look at some of the specs here for this. Uh, you can print, copy, scan, wireless, send to mobile fax and uh, do a whole bunch more. Print speed is up to 10 pages per minute. Color pages is 7. Uh, first page out comes out at about 18 seconds, but is uh, between eight and the first color, yeah, about 21 seconds right there. Uh, you can uh, print at 1200 by 1200 DPI. Uh, color goes 4800 to 1200 optimized DPI. It's a thermal inkjet flatbed uh, hardware, 1200 to 1200 DPI on the scan resolution. And it does uh, eight and a half by 11.7 inches. So legal paper, we, it will scan. So as you can see, you've got that. What we've got in the box is the all-in-one printer, uh, black cartridge, uh, tricolor cartridge, and uh, setup guide, reference guide. And that's what we're going to check out right now. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to take this box and we're going to find my little cutter. So we go and open that. So this product was sent to me by HP. This is a returnable product, which means I'm going to review it and then I'm going to send it back. Uh, and of course, I am got, getting paid to do this unboxing, this first look, this review. So all opinions are of my own. You can go over to my review page at geekazine.com forward slash review to find out all my policies on reviewing. And of course, all opinions are of my own. So you can check that out there. Uh, so what we got in here... We're going to start with this. We've got instructions on a piece of cardboard. Oh, and in that cardboard, we have the plug. And we have two of the print cartridges. One's a black print cartridge, and one is the tricolor print cartridge. So we'll see how many prints they can do. Uh, we got a little HP ink cartridge uh, warning, how to basically take care of your device and the, the cardboard that I pulled out had the instructions right on there. The printer itself it comes uh, vertically and they have like a little bag with two handles. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to sloop this up like that, but I'm not going to do it that way. The best thing to always do is to set your printer on the side like this. Hold on to the handles of this bag and just kind of slide out. Simple as that. Easy peasy. So we're going to slide that out. Now this does come with what they call the instant ink, two months of the instant ink. And what that means is they have an ink program. It's actually a pretty nice uh, program that allows you to reorder ink and it'll actually predict when you need more ink. And that's what's really cool about it. So with this, you'll have two months of that. So you Print to your heart's content and they'll send you more ink. I don't know the prices. Last time I knew it was $2.99 a month uh, to keep up on your printing. So if you do mild printing, 
then that's always a great way to do it. We're gonna get rid of some of this uh, styrofoam here. And then now with this bag, you're gonna, you're gonna have to pull up, lift up a little bit. This is usually a one person job. So uh, it's very rare that uh, a printer like this will require two people. But of course, you know, you gotta know your own limitations. If you feel that you need help with it, get help in uh, getting this all set up. As you can see, there's a lot of blue tape around this. The blue tape is holding down the parts and I'm going to have to document all this blue tape for when I have to reseal it. The first one I'm gonna do is the one over here. We've got, this is the document feeder. We got a big piece of blue tape right here. We'll put that on the side like that for now. One in the front. It's always fun to watch this stuff get off come off. Got one right here. Got one in the back. And one right here. As we go through, we have some more tape that we have to pull out. There's a little tape on the front here. So let's open up the flatbed scanner like that. And we'll pull out the protective layer right here. I have a piece of blue tape right here, a piece of blue tape right here, and a piece of blue tape right here, which means somehow this thing pops up, and it's yes. So we're going to pop this up like this. There we go. And then there's a piece of blue tape here, and a piece of blue tape here. There we go. And I don't see anything that needs to be removed from here, but we will definitely check on the instructions before we go firing it up. Got a piece of blue tape right here, which we will uh, take off here. This is the front tray. And it looks like the front tray will go all the way to 10 by 15 uh, in centimeters. So eight and a half. Yeah, it'll do an eight and a half by 11. It'll do A4 and it'll do letters. Oh, it will do letters. So you can go as a, a letter style all the way to a standard eight and a half style. Um, we got two print trays up here, and I will zoom in to show you those. Oh, this is this is a way to help with the uh, figure out the jamming, I'm guessing. But that's basically the printer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the print cartridges, and we're going to put some paper. So it looks like you can go up to A4 on this, but you can do letters. And I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you don't have 11 by 17. Oh, we have. A, oh, that's an interesting. Did you see that? So that flips out and opens so the paper can rest right here. And don't see a self-feeding. I noticed another piece of blue tape. So we'll pop this up. And that's the last piece of blue tape that I'm seeing. Instructions. And here we got, uh, we got a little card about their instant ink offering. Uh, and two months free trial and three easy steps. You re redeem the two month trial by setting up uh, the HP account and start printing with the cartridges. So, All right, here's where all the tape is. Um, shows you on the top, side, and the front. So the power's down there. There we go, it's plugged in. And it lights up. I don't see any LCD display, but you know, printers like this, you usually don't get an LCD display. There it goes, it's uh, setting up just fine. And now we'll lift open the sides here. Okay, so a nice little LED light up there. We've got the color print right here. So we have one, two, this is the black, this is the tri-color. So if this is the uh, first cartridge, this is the HP black cartridge. There is, it looks like to be a piece of tape film here, which we will pull off. There we go, I believe like so. And then it snaps into place. Yeah, that that's uh, that's fairly straightforward. Open up the tricolor, maybe. And then once again, we have a little piece of tape here that we have to pull off. Put that right there, and put that into. So basically, it'll snap in, and this that little uh, violet door will once you start pushing it in, it will start to move in there there we've got it fully in once we snapped that down now we will close the lid and with that we heard some beepity boops yep there it goes it's uh 
it's going and uh, making its move. Now, next up, we need to pull up the smart app. So the smart app right here. Now it says we found a new printer. So let's get set up and we'll connect to start it up. So let's tap there to start. We found the HP NV6400 series printer that's ready to be set up. That's what we want. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to say, do you want to put it on your Wi-Fi? And I'm going to say yes. And I believe it's going to remember that. So yeah, it's now set up on my network. And it's joining the network. It's uh, waiting on this printer. And it's... So this takes takes a minute, but you know it's not a it's not a long minute, that's for sure. I don't know if you heard that, but it had like a little uh, bell notification, like a little ding ling ling type notification, and it's setting up, it's continuing to set up the accessory. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, da, 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 da. The, exec the accessory just joined my network, so I'll hit done. And then it says press the flashing information button on your printer, and that is down here and you're gonna see a little white button and a red button so it says to press this white button right here enjoy your HP account benefits save up to 50% on ink with HP instant ink get automatic warranty registration software updates and print anywhere anytime because that's that's the cool thing about this app is it lets you do that so getting the setup instructions so it's it's talking back and forth between the printer right here it's important if you set up these printers be as close to your wi-fi as possible that way there's no interference on here and then when you have it all set up put the printer where you need it to be and go from there i, I want to show you something really quick because it just set it up on my desktop as well you just saw that on the bottom corner so uh, and it says alignment required. We're going to hit the continue button. We've already got printer paper in there. We're going to flip out this, this thing so it will catch the whole piece of paper. Uh, we just printed that this was the test page. And it says alignment required for best print quality. It's showing me a lot of blue. It's showing me a lot of black. Place this page face down on the scanner glass as shown. So in the corner, and then it says, close the lid, press the blinking copy button, and then recycle the page when done. So we're going to lift up the scanner here. And then we're going to, it says we're going to we place it just on the corner like here. It says 8.5 by 11 up there. So I know I'm doing that right. And we'll close the lid. And now the little scan button just started blinking. So we're going to press that. I didn't know if it, I don't know if it's going to print or not. It didn't say anything about printing. So that must have calibrated it, is my guess. Yeah, it just says recycle this page afterwards. So there, we've done that. So now this uh, this should be completely set up for that. And what's interesting is we've got some buttons here. So what we have here is we have the Wi-Fi button up here, which I'm assuming. Nope, yeah, there's nothing here. We got the information button, which of course brings up the red X, and I think it's printing something out. So it's going to print up some information here, and then it's basically say that it's uh, registered. It's registered to me. Here's uh, I have an email address, which you can use the email address to send to this printer, uh, and it's connected to my wireless. It's got the IP address there. Signal strength is excellent. And then there's a Wi-Fi direct name. This is where the dual band comes in. So you can actually print. You don't need to be on your network to print on this printer. You can uh, you can just go on your app or have if your friend if your friend's over and they need to print out a page, you just say go into the the printer setup. You'll you'll find this uh, this Wi-Fi signal or SSID, and you'll be able to print from there. This does come in a couple different models. You have the uh, you have the 60. This is a 6400 series. You have the 6000 series that doesn't have this top tray. I think it still has the scan bed on top, but uh, you don't get the uh, the multi uh, input tray. And it sees the printer. There we go. There we go. So when I go to that uh, IP address, the web page is showing up. And it says continue to your printer settings. We'll say OK. And yeah, it's not private. And there's your page right there. So everything is all set up for your uh, for your printer. 
And this is now printing out a page. Let's uh, and that that page is going to tell me all my settings and stuff like that. Oh, it's oh, it's printing the print. Print. These are doing good. Looks like we got a little bit of soaked here because of the fact that there was a lot of dark printing over here. But nothing's running off the page. If I lick my finger and run it on the page, let's do my Adam runes everything about processed cracker cheese. And you're going, what are you talking about? This one right here. It looks like a little Adam. Adam uh, what's his name? Adam from Adam Rooms Everything. So we're going to print this out. It's got some nice color to it, some blur in the background. So we're going to hit this, and we're going to go back to that printer. It's going to say portrait. Uh, we are shrinking to fit. Let's, let's see what happens if we fill the page. It'll be a little bit bigger. That's pretty cool. Page margins, we want uniform. And we got plain paper, although you can choose different papers if you have that. More settings. Let's go in here. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, is there a way to get rid of some of these those margins? There's normal. Let's go to best. That'll take a little bit longer, but I want to see it in its best on regular paper. Let's go back here. We'll hit the print button. And now it's, uh, you can't hear it, but it sounds, it sounds a little slower. And so they're going, do, 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 like that. It's going, do, 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 do. nice little tones there. So if you're musically inclined, you will uh, enjoy that a lot. There we go. Flip this back down. And there's our image. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I see a little bit of warping on the page. This is just plain paper. This is not any special type of photo paper. Uh, but you did get a little bit of warping. We flip this open right here. And now we can pull this out. That does not pull up or anything like that. Uh, we put in our paper, and it says to put the paper in like this. No paper clips. All right, so what happened was when I put in the paper, watch this right here. I'm going to take it out. Now it's, now it's done. So I'm going to put this in. Three, two, one. Now it's ready. So I could copy this. All right, so now it printed out a black and white copy, which is interesting. Let's do this again. Let's see if the other one goes color. Okay, so I wonder if that, that means color. You see that? Let's zoom back in. You see how that's flashing in multicolors? So let's give that a try. So we're going to hit that, and that's flashing one, and that's what it's doing. Okay, so the button on the right means black and white, and the button on the left means color print. First of all, we'll take a look at our color to black and white, which looks pretty good. And now we'll look at our copy to our original. I know this is harder for you to see, but from what I'm seeing, um, the copy to the copy looks pretty good. I should run this about 10 times and see what happens. Let's do that. We're going to copy the copy to the copy to the copy to the copy. And I might need to go get some more paper to do that. Yeah, I think it just did a system update while we were, uh, while we were waiting. All right, so bring this back in. It does a 3, 2, 1. We want another color copy page. All right, I'm starting to see, this is the third copy, I'm starting to see some interesting things, like for instance, on the thumb here, let's close that, the thumb here is starting to look a little bit more purple, and we're losing some of the yellow on the cheese here. Um, let's see, and then the gray, we'll go back, here's the original again, and you start, we're, yeah, we're definitely starting to see some color changes to this print. So that was print number three. We're going to bring this back in. And now in the background, I'm starting to see some lines. This is copy number four. I'm starting to see some lines up on top. This looks a little bit more uh, posterized, uh, meaning that, you know, there, there's it's not a gradient from a light to a darker color. It's kind of like line line, line. So there's like a little line here and that goes out and then out like that. Uh, around the thumbnail, I'm seeing it being more red and th that looks like I got a bruise on my thumb, which that's not the case. 
Um, so I'm seeing some things are a little bit darker red here. So that was four. Now let's go for five. The blues are staying okay, but you, it's definitely giving you the lighting is a lot different right there as we're going. And now my thumbnail definitely looks like it's got a bruise. Look at the thumb itself. It's starting to wash itself out from the original here. Um, you can see those as well. And then, yeah, we're definitely getting a lot redder hue in here as we continue to print. The, that, the, that's the uh, ground. That's uh, concrete. As you can see, it's not as blurry. There's more definite lines on this side. That was copy number five. I don't think we need to go to ten. We'll just make a couple more. And this is where our color levels are at. Uh, we can see that we've taken out a good third of the uh, of the tricolor, but the black ink is still uh, it's still pretty good. I'd say about 95% right there. All right, last one. Yeah, well, this is the last one. You'll see a lot of red. You'll see a lot of lines on this. Going back to the original, you can definitely see that difference right there. It looks like I bruised my thumb working super hard in the I actually was I was working in the backyard all day but you know after six prints it's it's holding an integrity but not too well and I'd expect this on any printer look down by the thumb look at how the uh, skin tones completely red and washed out uh, so yeah that definitely makes a difference there so that's basically six copies in uh, which is not too bad as for print let's uh, let's just print out this uh, this data sheet right here. And there it is, the first, let's close that out. So that's the first page, and then the second page. Um, color looks good, uh, black print looks good. Let's go back to our levels over here. This is what we just printed. So yeah, we're definitely, as you can see now, the color is getting closer to the 50% mark. So I would guess that if I, uh, if I continue to print on, if I continue to print that, that uh, 10 pages, I'd be, uh, I'd take this tricolor down to almost 20%. And, and I'm just guesstimating because it doesn't have a percentage on, on these pages right now. So, uh, but with this, uh, this is the web page. So if you go, if you actually called up the, um, the printer on your your computer you can go to the web page just basically by going to the ip address that's assigned for this printer and then it'll go into the configuration so from here you can go into your home to get your web services your printer updates and all that other stuff we can scan but of course you're going to need the username and password to do that web services once again network once again uh, and then settings uh, we can change all the settings, some of the settings right here. So this is the printer right here. This is the HP NV Pro 6455 unit. Uh, it's a uh, all-in-one. Uh, you'll be able to copy and fax. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to actually fax out from it. I, and I, I, I talked about it ever so briefly. The faxing option is through the app. And like I said, uh, we talked about that in their last printer. Uh, the Never Stop series, they introduced the ability to fax out, not, not retrieve faxes, if, yes, but if you need to send something out to somebody, you basically scan it in, you use the app, you say, I want to, instead of printing it out, I want to fax it out to, uh, to uh, and here's the phone number, and it does that. For now, this is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching over at, uh, at the live channels here. We're going to mix this all together, and then it'll be up on geekazine.com, uh, minus the technical glitches, hopefully. So these are the socials right here if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out. You've been watching another episode of Geek Tech Talk Live. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.